I'm damn sure there's nothing going on in my head except what the laws of nature allow, and that belief fits into every scene we've studied so far. You may believe in ghosts, shadows in the night, or spirits, but let's break that down with logic under the sky. If a ghost exists, then it must interact with matter, like wind touches a leaf on the street. To interact with matter, it must carry a pattern, a memory, which means it holds information, just like footprints in the sand. And for information to continue, there must be energy flowing, just like fire needs fuel to burn through a cold evening. If we can see ghosts, then they're working with light, bouncing around like reflections on a quiet lake. But we already know how light interacts with matter to an extremely precise degree, like lasers tracing a line through fog. If a soul exists within me, then it must be made of a new energy, something science hasn't found in the universe yet. Physicists have measured how matter behaves for decades, recording how it dances on the smallest scale. They've found four fundamental forces, gravity, strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force, and electromagnetism, balancing like pillars in a grand temple. They've searched the cosmos for a fifth force but haven't discovered a trace in any field. Yet what if death isn't truly the end, just a shadowy path to something more? New evidence hints that consciousness might not simply vanish when we die, echoing like whispers in a hollow cave. A quantum computer recently made a discovery so shocking it shook the stillness of a silent lab. Even physicist Brian Cox was stunned, as he watched results blink across the glowing screen. Quantum-based AI models have now uncovered ideas that challenge what we thought about our very existence in the cosmic scene. Quantum mechanics has already shown us how unpredictable and strange reality can be, like fog dancing across a frozen field. Now, cutting-edge computing may have just offered evidence that life never truly ends, like echoes through an endless canyon. Could consciousness really survive death? Share your thoughts before this curtain of mystery rises. The groundbreaking experiment fed tons of neurological and quantum data into a powerful machine in a glass-walled lab. They asked the system to model how consciousness behaves at its most basic, fundamental state. What it produced was unexpected, like thunder in a cloudless sky, showing that consciousness wasn't confined to the brain. The data revealed it acts like a quantum state, similar to subatomic particles flickering in and out across space and time. Particles that exist in multiple places at once, across two corners of the same room, now seem to reflect our own awareness. That meant consciousness might persist beyond the physical body, like signals echoing in an infinite tunnel. Just as quantum information never truly disappears, perhaps human awareness doesn't either, it lingers in the fabric. The implications were vast, stretching beyond imagination like stars in an open skyline. Was human awareness part of a larger quantum field, tangled like branches in a deep forest? If that were true, then death may not be an ending but merely a transition to another level of existence, like stepping through a misty doorway. Brian Cox has long studied the overlap between quantum mechanics and the human mind, often pondering in quiet observatories. He frequently references the observer effect, where a particle's behavior changes when watched, like a deer frozen in the woods. This strange behavior suggests consciousness may shape reality itself, not just observe it from behind a glass. If that's the case, then our minds might not be brain-bound, but instead connected to something much deeper, like an unseen current. Though Cox remains cautious, he admits that science hasn't yet defined where consciousness begins and ends, like waves lost in a restless sea. Could our thoughts really mold the world around us, or are we just biological machines reacting like gears in an old clock? If reality is truly made of quantum information, could we be part of a simulation, like characters dancing through a digital dream? Some scientists think the laws of physics resemble code, programmed by something beyond our wildest view. With quantum computers, patterns emerge that mimic how data is processed in digital systems. This raises a huge question. Is our consciousness an emergent property, or are we fragments of a cosmic program? Quantum AI has uncovered math structures in the very fabric of reality, like threads in a digital tapestry. Could this mean we're experiencing a simulated reality, crafted like scenery on a painted stage? If consciousness is inside this system, could it be transferred, like files between hard drives glowing in a dim room? Physicists wonder.
If reality is encoded information, then death might not be a wall, but a gateway into another dimension. Could consciousness shift between realities like light through shattered glass? Some look to the multiverse theory, which suggests every action branch is a new reality, blooming like petals in a wild garden. So death in one universe might just mean waking up in another, a rebirth through a parallel window. Schrodinger's famous cat experiment, alive and dead until observed, supports the idea that multiple states can exist behind a single curtain. Quantum entanglement shows us how particles remain connected across vast distances, like invisible threads through a quiet valley. Some theorists think consciousness might be entangled too, tied across dimensions like stars bound by unseen strings. Brian Cox remains careful, but admits quantum physics defies everything that seems natural, like mirages on a dusty road. He often says we haven't fully grasped the universe, and the observer effect reminds us that awareness shapes the view. Still, he cautions that no concrete evidence yet proves life continues after death, just possibilities in the shifting dark. As quantum technology advances, some believe we could one day digitally preserve our consciousness, like memories in a glowing cube. If consciousness is a pattern, not a structure, it could be mapped, stored, and even transferred beyond our shell. But this brings deeper questions. If we copy the mind, does the copy truly live? or is it just a simulated mirror in a virtual chamber? Could it really be US, or just a high-tech reflection, hollow like echoes in a marble hall? Even with these discoveries, many mysteries remain, hovering like fog above a forgotten bridge. Might science finally prove what spiritual traditions have said for centuries, whispered in temples and written on ancient walls?